This slaughter pleases me. No act is more sacred than consecrating a site in the blood of one's enemies. The rest of the dam is fully under our control. A few pitiful holdouts remain, but their time is short. The general was the last source of concern. With their commander dead, the NCR will pull out of this region, allowing our conquest to continue westward, unopposed for a time. The Legion will swell with the number of slaves we will claim from this place, and the tribute we gather will fund further campaigns. Perhaps in time I will be granted the honor of conquering the land known as California, but for now we rest. Know that your efforts are appreciated and will not go unrewarded, but we can speak of that later. For now, come. We must see to the burning of the dead. And so the courier who had cheated death in the cemetery outside Good Springs cheated death once again and the Mojave Wasteland was forever changed. Caesar entered the Strip as though it was his triumph. The Legion pushed the NCR out of New Vegas entirely, driving them back to the Mojave Outpost. The Legion occupied all major locations, enslaving much of the population and peacefully lording over the rest. Under the Legion's banner, civilization, unforgiving as it was, finally came to the Mojave Wasteland. Though the courier himself was just and forthright in his dealings throughout the wasteland, he helped the Legion achieve victory. Caesar honored him with a golden coin, minted in celebration of his contributions and distributed throughout the wasteland. Cautious after the Boomer's display of power at Hoover Dam, Caesar chose to leave the Boomers alone. The Boomers remained isolated, but have been seen flying over the Mojave Desert from time to time. Buried beneath tons of rubble, the Mojave chapter of the Brotherhood of Steel was no more. Those few who were outside the Hidden Valley bunker when it was destroyed settled into new lives, or headed west to find a new chapter to join. The Fiends attacked Camp McCarran during the Second Battle of Hoover Dam and suffered heavy losses. Caesar, unimpressed with their performance and their dependence on chems, had them exterminated. After the Legion's victory, Caesar, out of a strange respect for his old fellows, allowed the followers safe passage out of the wasteland. Reluctantly, the followers accepted the offer and abandoned Old Mormon Fort to the Legion. The Legion, preoccupied with its acquisition of New Vegas, scarcely took notice of the town of Good Springs. Many locals moved on, fearful of Caesar's long shadow. Only the old and the stubborn remained. As reward for their loyal service, Caesar forcibly integrated the Great Khans into the Legion. The sick and elderly were killed, the women sold as wives to ranking officers, and the tribe's identity was annihilated. Though many Great Khans mourned the death of their tribe, many more were ultimately satisfied with their revenge against NCR. With no cure for the Nightkin schizophrenia in sight, the disgruntled Nightkin left Jacobstown. Without a treatment, their insanity grew. The crazed nightkin terrorized the wasteland, and Jacobstown suffered repeated reprisals from mutant-hating humans. In the end, the surviving mutants abandoned Jacobstown entirely, its existence quickly forgotten by the rest of the wasteland. After their victory at Hoover Dam, Legion troops rolled through Freeside. The kings tried to fight back, but most were killed, and the rest fled into the wasteland. After Ray's brain was transplanted into Rex's cybernetic body, it took Rex some time to adjust to the old scrapyard dog's memories. Eventually, Rex's mind settled peacefully, melding his own memories with that of long travels with old Lady Gibson. During the Legion's attack on Novak, Bright followers, returning from their long pilgrimage, assisted in its evacuation. Though Novak eventually fell to the Legion, many citizens of Novak were able to escape, alive and intact. Armed with a wide array of improvised explosives and stolen weapons, the Vault 19 Powder Gang tormented the Mojave Wasteland for years. 
citizens of the NCR were favorite targets, and they always suffered the worst fates. And so the courier's road came to an end, for now. In the new world of the Mojave Wasteland, fighting continued, blood was spilled, and many lived and died just as they had in the old world. Because war, war never changes. Caesar on the cross. Been a long time since I've seen the kind of work you've laid down today. A damn long time. And the screams of those Legion bastards as they kick dirt running east like a choir of angels to my ears. Speaking of, that crazy light show over the fort? What the fuck was that? Some kind of thumb of God you called down? Amazing. Fucking amazing. Could use a hundred of you. Just scatter you over the east like jacks. Give those plum fucks the what for. And, uh, well, <laughs> these, uh, these boys with you? <laughs> Hello there, Smiley. Guess it ain't no secret how you, uh, I say, can you ask them to put their weapons down? I was just reaching in my coat to give you a cigar. I would sooner spit on the grave of my dead mother than let some courier walk the wasteland fuck talk to me like that. Who the hell do you think you are? Looking to cash your chips to the sound of NCR bullets, huh? I can oblige. Look, I know you're riding high right now, but let me tell you, you ain't pissing on me right now. You're pissing on the bear. You've been far enough west, I'm guessing, to know how far that claw stretches. Fuck with the bear and... You want me to make tracks out of here? Head back west? Tail between our legs? No. I came for a fight today. And if you're looking to make me budge, you better have a damn good left hook, or I'm not going anywhere. Right now, that's all that's standing there. Well, except for the corpses. So that's your plan? Hold the dam here all by your lonesome? They wouldn't. I think you're cast out enough to know my chances are pretty good. And like I said, I'm not leaving the dam now the Legion's been broken. Caesar on the... Guess it ain't no... Personality. To be a little more assertive, basically. 
So that's what I'm going to be doing. And it's going to take me a while, so it'll seem like I'm offline. But don't worry, everything will be okay. I've updated the Securitron's targeting parameters so they know what to do. Vegas will be protected. So that's where I'll be, off making a few changes. And I, I guess I'll see you around. We accomplished a lot together. It was fun. Take care. And so the courier who had cheated death in the cemetery outside Good Springs cheated death once again, and the Mojave Wasteland was forever changed. The courier, with the aid of Yes Man, drove both the Legion and the NCR from Hoover Dam, securing New Vegas's independence from both factions. With Mr. House out of the picture, the remaining Securitrons on the Strip were hard-pressed to keep order. Anarchy ruled the streets. When the fires died, New Vegas remained, assuming its position as an independent power in the Mojave. Supporting the ideals of independence, the courier was recognized as the man responsible for a truly free New Vegas. He ensured Mr. House's tyranny was broken, and neither Caesar's Legion nor NCR would ever gain control over New Vegas. Though the wasteland became anarchic after Hoover Dam, the boomer's display of power dissuaded fortune seekers from attempting to penetrate Nellis. Buried beneath tons of rubble, the Mojave chapter of the Brotherhood of Steel was no more. Those few who were outside the Hidden Valley bunker when it was destroyed settled into new lives, or headed west to find a new chapter to join. Fiends overran Camp McCarran during the Second Battle of Hoover Dam. In the anarchic months that followed, the Fiends asserted dominance over Outer Vegas. After the Courier ensured New Vegas remained free, the followers found that Independent Vegas was even more unstable and violent than before. Old Mormon Fort became excessively burdened by the influx of patients, struggling to provide even the most basic of services. With New Vegas's independence formally declared, Good Springs thrived. More travelers stopped by Good Springs on their way to and from the Strip, and the locals grew prosperous from the traffic. With no cure for the Nightkin schizophrenia in sight, the disgruntled Nightkin left Jacobstown. Without a treatment, their insanity grew. The crazed Nightkin terrorized the wasteland, and Jacobstown suffered repeated reprisals from mutant-hating humans. In the end, the surviving mutants abandoned Jacobstown entirely, its existence quickly forgotten by the rest of the wasteland. The kings retained their control of Freeside, and while they continued to favor the needs of locals, they tolerated the citizens of the defeated NCR. After Ray's brain was transplanted into Rex's cybernetic body, it took Rex some time to adjust to the old scrapyard dog's memories. Eventually, Rex's mind settled peacefully melding his own memories with that of long travels with old Lady Gibson. Though Novak was a low-priority target for the Legion, many of Novak's citizens died in its defense. In the weeks that followed, several bright followers returned to Novak to help restore its defenses, allowing it to remain independent of NCR. Armed with a wide array of improvised explosives and stolen weapons, Vault 19 Powder Gang tormented the Mojave Wasteland for years. Citizens of the NCR were favorite targets, and they always suffered the worst fates. And so the Courier's Road came to an end, for now. In the new world of the Mojave Wasteland, fighting continued, blood was spilled, and many lived and died just as they had in the old world. Because war, war never changes.
Caesar on the cross. Been a long time since I've seen the kind of work you've laid down today. A damn long time. And the screams of those Legion bastards as they kick dirt running east like a choir of angels to my ears. Speaking of, that crazy light show over the fort? What the fuck was that? Some kind of thumb of God you called down? Amazing. Fucking amazing. Could use a hundred of you. Just scatter you over the east like jacks. Give those plum fucks the what for. Vegas? What, the families? Or house? You're talking about house. What is this Brahmin shit? I'm not getting the feeling we're all about to sing Kumbaya here. What the hell are you talking about? What is this? The free economic zone of New Vegas? What the hell does that mean? Oh, wait, here we go. Demands NCR's immediate withdrawal. Withdrawal? Like fucking hell we're withdrawing. We just held the dam. We didn't do it to let it go. This paper of yours isn't fit to wipe my ass. If you think after all that's happened, I'm going to grab my ankles and take it like the Legion. You know I won't surrender the dam. And certainly not to the ghost man of Vegas and his new right hand of the week. We held this place for years. Kicked one legged out of here so hard, Caesar burned him to a crisp. It's our post. We fought for it. I'll fight for it again today. If you're looking to convince me otherwise, you better have a lot more reasons than you just telling me to go. Looking to make a deal then? All right, let's hear it. I think you're cashed out enough that my chances are pretty good. And like I said, I'm not leaving the dam now the Legion's been broken. expectations fewer still surpassed them your performance has been nothing short of spectacular if i have need for a specialist of your stripe again i'll know just where to turn back to vegas shall we i really should do something about that monorail with all the new resources at hand i can make sure it not only runs but runs on time always bothered me the imprecision the General's accident was unfortunate. With Kimball dead, the angry Californian public could have used an alternate scapegoat to pillory. In any case, Vegas might see a dip in revenue for a year or two, but eventually the tourists will come flooding back and their money with them. Vegas will be a shining jewel in the middle of the desert, an oasis of light, a beacon to show mankind the way to the stars. This is just the start, you see. This is where it all begins. And so the defeated death in the semi-outside good spring, death once again, Mojave land or arranged. Mr. House's Securitron army took control of Hoover Dam and the Strip, pushing both the Legion and the exhausted NCR out of New Vegas. Mr. House continued to run New Vegas his way, a despotic vision of pre-war glory. The streets were orderly, efficient, cold. New Vegas continued to be the sole place in the wasteland where fortunes were won and lost in the blink of an eye. The courier, cruel and merciless, had ensured that Mr. House would maintain complete control over New Vegas and everyone in it. Mr. House afforded him every luxury at his disposal in the Lucky 38, partly out of gratitude and partly out of fear. Though some super mutants in Nightkin continued to journey to the legendary Utopatha, they found little trace 
of its existence. Some eventually found their way to Jacobstown, but many wandered off into the wastes, confused and disheartened. Without organized leadership, the remaining boomers slowly drifted away, leaving Nellis Air Force Base to be flooded by prospectors and scavengers. All of the boomers accumulated knowledge quickly scattered, and their existence slowly faded from memory. The fiends attacked Camp McCarran during the Second Battle of Hoover Dam, but the NCR repulsed the attack with minimal losses. When Mr. House asserted control over Outer Vegas, his Securitrons eradicated the remaining fiends entirely. After Mr. House gained control of New Vegas, he sent a Securitron to Good Springs as a token of appreciation for helping the courier. Victor was a mixed blessing, however, as he continually monitored the town for Mr. House. With no cure for the Nightkin schizophrenia in sight, the disgruntled Nightkin left Jacobstown. Without a treatment, their insanity grew. The crazed Nightkin terrorized the wasteland, and Jacobstown suffered repeated reprisals from mutant-hating humans. In the end, the surviving mutants abandoned Jacobstown entirely its existence quickly forgotten by the rest of the wasteland. Flush with his victory, Mr. House sent Securitrons into Freeside, thinking to increase his control over the area. When fighting broke out, the kings fought valiantly, but were no match for the armored killing machines and were wiped out to the last man. After Ray's brain was transplanted into Rex's cybernetic body, it took Rex some time to adjust to the old scrapyard dog's memories. Eventually, Rex's mind settled peacefully, melding his own memories with that of long travels with old Lady Gibson. The NCR, battered by the loss of the dam, were unable to devote any troops to retaking the correctional facility from the Powder Gangers. As a result, Powder Ganger raids on caravans became an unfortunate fact of life in the Mojave for years to come. Armed with a wide array of improvised explosives and stolen weapons, the Vault 19 Powder Gang tormented the Mojave Wasteland for years. Citizens of the NCR were favorite targets, and they always suffered the worst fates. And so the Courier's Road came to an end, for now. In the new world of the Mojave Wasteland, fighting continued, blood was spilled, and many lived and died just as they had in the old world. Because war, War never changes. That's a fine bit of work back there. Truth told, I'm surprised you made it out of there in one piece. You and the dam. I'm impressed to say the least, and that's no easy thing. You've secured NCR's future. The administration sends its thanks for what it's worth. And we're glad to have you. And whether you're a soldier of the Republic or not, you're it in my eyes. Sometimes the Republic gets lost along the way while it's trying to follow its instincts. But when soldiers like you come along, it helps them get back on track and does it by example. And what you've done here today, that's gonna keep us going for a while. We clean up, take prisoners, watch the East for any more trouble from the Legion. Though I think they're still running, according to our scouts. After that, we'll see what happens when the dust settles and how the Mojave looks now without Caesar coming for its throat. Something tells me we better enjoy this breather while we can. And if that means Vegas, then you and the troops have earned it. Can't keep the courier spirit down, eh? Fair enough. We'll clean up here. Kind of curious how this is going to pan out in the long run, but I guess history will tell us in its own sweet time. And so the courier who had cheated death in the cemetery outside Good Springs cheated death once again. 
and the Mojave Wasteland was forever changed. The new California Republic celebrated its second victory at Hoover Dam, establishing definitive control over the entire Mojave Wasteland. Soon after, they negotiated terms to annex the Strip, Freeside, and many surrounding communities. The Mojave Wasteland, at long last, had entirely fallen under the NCR's banner. With brutal methods that few in NCR would approve of, it was the courier who secured NCR's victory at Hoover Dam. Despite his extreme actions, he was awarded with the Golden Branch, the highest civilian decoration given by the Republic. With the help of the Gunrunners, the Boomers developed a healthy trading relationship with the NCR. Eventually, the Boomers began wandering out into the wasteland while still preventing outsiders from entering Nellis. Buried beneath tons of rubble, the Mojave chapter of the Brotherhood of Steel was no more. Those few who were outside the Hidden Valley bunker when it was destroyed settled into new lives or headed west to find a new chapter to join. Never weakened by NCR, the Fiends staged an attack against Camp McCarran during the Second Battle at Hoover Dam. Though NCR repulsed the Fiends, they suffered heavy losses in the process. After the NCR's victory at the dam, the followers of the Apocalypse were pushed out of Old Mormon Fort during its occupation by NCR forces. NCR further encouraged them to leave Outer Vegas entirely, and the followers had no choice but to comply. Good Springs saw more trade along I-15 after NCR gained control of the Mojave Wasteland, but with that came a heavy burden of the Republic's taxes. Some old-timers, unable to handle the cost, were forced to move on, grumbling all the while. During the Battle of Hoover Dam, the Great Khans quickly evacuated Red Rock Canyon and headed north and east into the plains of Wyoming. There, they reconnected with the followers of the Apocalypse and rebuilt their strength. Bolstered by ancient knowledge of governance, economics, and transportation, they carved a mighty empire out of the ruins of the Northwest. With no cure for the Nightkin schizophrenia in sight, the disgruntled Nightkin left Jacobstown. Without a treatment, their insanity grew. The crazed Nightkin terrorized the wasteland, and Jacobstown suffered repeated reprisals from mutant-hating humans. In the end, the surviving mutants abandoned Jacobstown entirely, its existence quickly forgotten by the rest of the wasteland. After the NCR victory at Hoover Dam, the temporary truce between them and the Kings blossomed into a full-scale relief effort for the people. While the NCR made repeated entreaties that Freeside join the Republic, the Kings steadfastly maintained their independence. After Ray's brain was transplanted into Rex's cybernetic body, it took Rex some time to adjust to the old scrapyard dog's memories. Eventually, Rex's mind settled peacefully, melding his own memories with that of long travels with old Lady Gibson. Armed with a wide array of improvised explosives and stolen weapons, the Vault 19 powder gang tormented the Mojave Wasteland for years. Citizens of the NCR were favorite targets, and they always suffered the worst fates. And so the Courier's Road came to an end, for now. In the new world of the Mojave Wasteland, fighting continued, blood was spilled, and many lived and died just as they had in the old world. Because war, war never changes. <laughs>